Today we'll review our new LED under cabinet light. First, some background. We've been asked by our customers for an LED under cabinet light for the last few years. So why did we wait so long to offer one? Simple. We do not offer a new product on our website until we've tested it ourselves. Sounds logical, doesn't it? Trust me, after 30 years of doing lighting, we find that almost no other lighting company tests the products the way we do. We have tested dozens of LED fixtures and found that most of them either had very poor light output or the LED caused a very ugly glare on dark countertops. Unacceptable. We found this new LED under cabinet light just this year. We love it and it meets almost every expectation. So let's take a look at it right now. This one is white, but they come in bronze and a brushed nickel finish also. The box contains a power cord if you need to make a portable installation or a kit with parts for permanent installations. Notice also the three-way switch on the front. This is unique to our LED product. It is a off, low, or high output switch. In the low setting, it has about the same output as a standard fluorescent under cabinet fixture. But in the high position, it is about twice as bright. Check our website for more specifications, sizes, and colors. The end of the fixture allows the portable power cord to be applied if you are using the fixture in this manner. Also, we include a 19-inch jumper cable, and we sell an optional 1-inch jumper if you want to join two fixtures together. However, this may not be required because of our wide range of popular sizes. On the back of the fixture, this is the side that would be up against the cabinets, there are some holes for mounting. Mounting screws are up to you based on your cabinet thickness. Be careful here not to over drill your cabinet. On the back side of the fixture, there are knockouts so you can bring in a direct wire feed. The hardware to do this is included with the light fixture in a little clear bag. Each fixture has at least one knockout and the longer fixtures have more. Now some really important notes. To open the fixture for installation, there are some small screws in the back. Take the Allen wrench supplied with the light and loosen these small Allen screws just enough to open the fixture. No need to take them out. When you mount this fixture, it needs to be three quarters to one inch from the wall so you can put the cover back on. Watch out for this. It is important. Some of our customers do not like the little Allen screws, so we put in the bag these little thumb screws. This way you can put the cover back on without the wrench but you still have to leave some room to turn them and close and tighten the cover. This is an important note. Take some time getting familiar with how it works. You want to measure twice and drill once. Also installed inside the fixture, fast connectors for hardwired applications. And check the bag for the ground screw and grounding wire. Always ground your light fixtures. Now some common applications. In a kitchen where the cabinets are low and close to the countertop, we find that people place the fixtures close to the wall and let them shine forward and out. This works well for the most part, as you cannot see the fixture at all. However, above the sink areas, we find that the fixture is placed towards the front of the cabinet, and the light is directed down and back. In this image, we see where they installed the fixture and then the cabinet maker hid the wire in a cutout piece of trim. He did an excellent job hiding the wires. It's worth the time to do it right. Kitchen lighting may be the most important lighting in a home. The kitchen is a workplace, so it needs even bright diffused lighting. We don't recommend dimmers ever in a kitchen and this LED under cabinet light will not dim but we do recommend layers of lighting and the fixture is perfect as it meets this requirement with its two levels of brightness. We have a lot more information on kitchen lighting on our blog. Please feel free to check it out. 
Always wear safety glasses and turn off the power right at the circuit breaker before you start any electrical project. Put some red tape on the breaker so no one will turn it back on before the project is finished. Thanks for stopping by Total Lighting Supply and check out our video channel for helpful hints and design ideas. At Total Lighting Supply, we understand the importance of your time. Not everyone can be a lighting expert. We're not just about selling you light bulbs, light fixtures, and light components. We're also about helping you achieve amazing and successful lighting results in your space. We hope that our video series will assist you in achieving your lighting goals.